Hi guys, it's Chantal from Red Page Cafe. Uh, I am here to show you guys how to make these little tickets. Um, this is my first tutorial, so hopefully you guys learned something. Um, <laughs> this is not my idea, although I put my spin on it, like I made them my own, but somebody else I saw this on on uh, YouTube and if I can remember the link, I will link the video below. But this was a while ago, so I just thought it was a brilliant idea. So here are a couple of the tickets that I have made. They were all inspired. Um, Lori sent me some, well, like I've made tickets before, but uh, Lori sent me these little um, Christmas tickets in her um, happy mail in the happy mail she sent me so I thought they were super cute so I thought that I would make my own version now the only thing you need is a hole punch scissors to cut your like scraps just use up your scraps like paper if you do use paper um, double it up cause, well I mean you don't have to per se but my hole punch does not like paper so it does not like to punch so a hole punch scissors to cut your pieces of scraps now for this tutorial purpose I cut a couple pieces this is from a um, excuse me a index card <laughs> lately had a brain fart there okay so let's get started so just grab your scraps Make it whatever size you want. I kind of like the longer ones. Use, take your hole punch and punch the corners. Just like that. In kind of an angle. If you want, you if you have a little piece of metal like this in the front, you can use that as a guide. Like I, I angle kind of like in, I don't know if you can see that. See, I use the the two sides as a guideline. You don't have to do that, of course not. Just practice and play with it and uh, make it your own. So you wanna ink the edges. Well, that's what I did. I use Vintage Photo. See how I inked it? Um, ink all the little, all the creases, all the little notches. So let's do this one since I already cut it. So you can keep them simple like this, like with just the corners um, notched or cut or punched, whichever one you And then you choose a stamp of your choice. So I'm going to use this little guy. All these little stamps, I got them from uh, the Dollar Tree, so super they were all in one little package with their own ink so that's kind of cool um so i'm gonna use this guy and i'm gonna make it kind of like this so like as a seal so i check the edges and i clean off the corners so i don't get those on there um and then make sure i got it the right way put it on the one side kind of in the middle And then I just use a pen, whichever pen, it's completely up to you. And then I make the little swirls. So it's kind of like a, a postal stamp, I guess. You know, when you get letters. And then sometimes I put little dots. So you could keep them as simple as that. You don't have to write on them if you don't want to. Um, you can also add We'll use this guy since the corners are already punched. Oh, here, we'll make a new one. This is a card, like a Christmas card, the scraps of a Christmas card. So I just cut it into a little rectangle and then you just cut the notches. Corners first. Oh, it's kind of how I do it, but it's completely up to you. And then um, I'll punch a couple of little ones. So Hopefully my head's not getting into the frame. And then I'll make one on the other side. So it kind of makes it, see, the little notches. And then I ink the edges. Okay. 
and then just use your favorite stamp they don't need to be these are like kind of like Christmas uh, winter tickets and then I'll use these in my junk journal in my December daily probably and then you let's see what should I use on this guy since it's green let's use the little ornaments put it in the ink check the edges as you can tell I did not bring a wipe so my hands are full of ink but that's okay put it wherever you want to put it you can put it to the side or I'm gonna try to get it right in the middle just like that and then if you want most um, tickets have little numbers on the side what I decided because I don't have any like um, like individual numbers but I thought you could use your date stamp so I've got this date stamp if you don't have a date stamp that's fine you can use like you can write it by yourself if you want so I just ink this edge like this end one so I ink the last four numbers make sure I got it all in there and then I just use those little numbers as like for the edge My head is not, oh. And then the other side. And let's see if I can get this two on there. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. It's fine. <laughs> so you put your little numbers on the ends like that. And mine are like not straight at all but that's okay and then you can add a border if you want you don't have to but I just make a messy border cuz messy is forgiving and I like that I don't want my stuff to be like perfect so just go over top you do not it's like seriously like this does not have to be perfect so you can literally make this whichever way you want see and then you could I don't know um, let's do this red one we'll put Santa on it I've already notched the edges of this guy and I have inked it so I chose Santa to put on it and I will put them kind of in the middle, sort of, more to the bottom. See? And then I'm just going to write on top here, ho, ho, ho. Like, write it whichever way you want. You don't have, it doesn't have to be perfect. The best writing is your writing. Just play. Like, it's all about having fun and enjoying these are so fun to make and you can literally make them whichever size you want if you want a great big ticket do the same thing why not right so there you go I just wrote ho 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 and then I will make a mark underneath I'm not too sure what I'm doing and just playing so hopefully you guys enjoyed this the, this little tutorial and I hope you try it and put some in your junk journals so have yourself a great day and uh, Merry Christmas I will try to do a flip through or um, process video of my December daily of the ones that I haven't done yet I'm kind of a little bit behind so I'm gonna catch up and try to make a process video with it um so that's my next goal so hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you guys have a great day bye